Hi, it's Carl here from PresentationExpressions.com and in this video I'm going to teach you something which is going to be very, very helpful for you when you're starting your presentations. So what is that? Well, having a look at the screen right now, what do you see? You can see a picture of Albert Einstein and a little quote from him which says, a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. Now, what am I trying to teach you? Well, I'm trying to teach you how to start a presentation with a quote. So why is this important? Why should we start a presentation with a quote? Well, I've got two reasons why this is important. Number one, it gets people's attention. As you can see from just having a picture of Albert Einstein there, it gets your attention. Number two, it gets people's curiosity. So if you use a quotation to start your presentation, people will think, well, what's the presentation going to be about? This seems quite interesting. So they're going to be curious. So how do we actually use a quotation? Well, I've got three different ways that I want to show you for how you can use a quotation in your presentation to start your presentation. Number one is to do what you saw at the beginning, which was to have a picture of somebody, some famous person, and the quotation next to them. In this case here on the slide, I separated the picture of Albert Einstein with the quotate quotation. The other way you can do it is if you have a really big picture of that person, you can use the entire slide as the picture with that person and then put your quote also within the picture somewhere on the right hand side, on the bottom, anywhere that looks appropriate and use a high contrast color. So if the background of the picture is black, make sure you use, like I've got here, white text. Another way that you can do this is if you don't want to show the person, you can just show an image that represents what your quote is trying to say. Some quotes are by people that are unknown. We don't know who said that quote originally. However, in most cases, if there's a person, try to use the person's picture. That's the best way to do that, okay? So that is the first way. The second way is, haha, it's blank, isn't it? This is just you at the beginning of the presentation just saying the quote, just beginning your presentation with a quote. You can say, Albert Einstein used to say, you know, something, okay? And then give the quotation, just you, without any help from your presentation slides or any other kind of accessory. It's just you giving the quote to start your presentation. Okay, so that is the second way. Now, the third way is to just place the quote onto a slide like this here without any images at all. And this would be shown at the beginning of your presentation as people are getting ready, whatever. And same with the picture one as well. Just have it up on the slide or you can do it just as soon as your presentation starts, you can just show this slide and people can read that. You don't have to read it, okay? That's the one key is you don't have to read any of the quotes. The only one you have to read is the one where you don't show it, of course. But after you've done this, okay, after you've shown them the quotation, then you ask the question. You can say, you know, what do you think? Do you agree with this? Do you disagree with it? Um, who is the, who, you know, who said it maybe if you don't put the name? You can also say, who said this? Does anybody know who said this? So these are ways that you can get their attention, get their curiosity, and also to just get them engaged in some kind of conversation with you during your presentation, right from the very beginning, so they like you right away. So that's really it, okay? So I talked about how to start a presentation with a quote, and I showed you three different ways. I also talked about why it's important. So the why was, first, it gets people's attention. Secondly, it gets their curiosity. And then how to do it? Three ways. One, picture with a quote. Second way was just you giving the quote without any help from any kind of a slide. And the third way was to show the quote on a slide and you can have the name there or removed. It's up to you. So there you go. Those were the three different ways that you can use a quotation to start a presentation. Hopefully that is helpful for you. Let us know if you have any questions and good luck.